The conferences here has got an amazing energy about it, actually. It feels like the mix of topics, the mix of speakers, the angles they're coming from have just been really vibrant and given people a lot to talk about, a lot of great conversations happening in between. We kicked off the conference this year with a talk giving us an insight into China and what's going on there. And that was mind-blowing, just opening the eyes of 1,500 actuaries to what's really going on in the world. Yes, it's true. Relationships are going to be key to the sales process of financial products going forward. But the nature of those relationships is potentially going to be completely disrupted by technology in the future. Identify disruptive technologies and master them even if the business case isn't clear today. What we're really here for, most of us, is really to explore what the cutting edge of actuarial science is all about today. What's trending in the industry, what are the um, highlights, what are the things that people are working on. Um, and we've really seen this conference grow from strength to strength. The program is just increasing every year with a lot of very good technical detail as well as a lot of global perspectives on what's happening in the world of finance, fintech, um, insurtech specifically, and also the global regulations and, and banking industries. What we're seeing at the moment is the result of eight years of neglect in this country. Eight years of not doing what we should have been has resulted in where we are today. And I think we were naive if we thought Sora Ramaphosa could fix that in six months. It's just going to take a little bit of time. People want to be inspired, they want to be informed, um, so that they can, and, and they want to develop professionally. Um, so this is what it, uh, it makes this very important uh, for, for individual uh, professionals. Uh, it's also an opportunity, obviously, to, to network and, and, and meet their colleagues. And what are, they, what are the things that they need to consider? What are the new ideas in the field? How should they go and improve themselves? The conference has definitely grown um, in, in terms of numbers and I think also um, the, just the, the amount of speakers and, and the types of speakers that we have. So, so content has also, I think, evolved and expanded. Um, and I think if we, we, we've, we're starting to see a, a nice mix between some of the younger actuaries as well as the older actuaries that are, that are a lot more experienced because of that range of topics that we, that we offer that's interesting to everybody. One of the great things about this convention is that we get so many inputs from around the world and a global perspective on what's happening in terms of insurance, banking, and all the fintech developments around the, the world. We have speakers here from China, speakers from Africa, speakers from the UK with experience around the globe. So we really are privileged to be able to get those perspectives and really ensure that we grow the profession and the industry to the next level. I guess part of, part of coming here and uh, it's also the social aspect and uh, you know, we're looking forward to, uh, to the cocktail evening tonight. At the function, it was really, really good turnout, good networking, and I think we'll struggle to actually improve on that next year. The engagement with one another, understanding our biases, understanding our, um, our own backgrounds, and engaging with one another and learning to see the person in front of each other uh, enables us to build each other up and to build up the role of transformation, which is to have everyone feeling included in the profession. This generation of professional actuaries today has, in my view, a moral responsibility to pass on to the generation of actuaries of tomorrow a vibrant, growing profession. And I challenge you to do your part. Leading in an ethical way does not mean you never do something wrong. It means you do what you believe is right, the right way. The world we yearn for depends on our next actions.